am on my way to the shop to join Paul, and today we're giving Rhody a pretty big surgery. We're gonna change the manifold gasket. Hey, Paul. Hey. So tell everybody why the manifold gaskets need to be changed in Rhody. Ah, well, very simple, because uh, when going down a hill or when shifting or downshifting, let's say engine braking, uh, it's backfiring quite a bit, as you well know. So one of the problems uh, is that the manifolds, obviously there's a leak, it's probably a vacuum leak somewhere. So fresh cold air is getting in after the carburetor, after the air fuel mixture is coming in, so that leans it out. Uh, the other thing is there's clearly an exhaust leak, you can hear it uh, when it runs. So changing the manifold gaskets should fix that. Today, I'm going to give you some behind the scenes footage of Paul doing the manifold gasket. Okay. <laughs> what we're going to do today basically is we're going to take the uh, linkages and fuel line off the carburetor. We're going to take the manifold loose and pull it back away from the motor. Uh, we're going to clean that whole thing up. We're going to check the manifold for flatness, make sure that the intake and exhaust manifolds are exactly flat. If not, we're going to take them out of the car take them somewhere, flatten them out, bring them back. Uh, we're gonna clean up the motor side, we're gonna put brand new gaskets on it, bolt it all back together, and see if it runs or if we broke it. Now, if it isn't flat, where would we take it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> 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 we'll take it to the belt sander and we'll flatten them out. Oh, nice. Yeah. So all right. Won't be that hard. There's a whole pile of parts here for your car building up. Yeah? Yeah, hold see right here. Huh? We got all these projects coming up. See, we got the thing for the rumble seat. There's your new LED tail light we got put together. There's parts in here, parts down there. These are the uh, fancy 2829 um, beauty ring things that go on your hub catch right here. Hey. Like that. These are sent from uh, Eric over at Mike's Affordable. And we're going to be nice. giving away a set of these pretty soon, too. So yeah. Keep an eye out for that. Just a little update on what's gone on so far. We took the manifold off, which is that and that combined together, correct, Paul? Yep. This is the exhaust manifold, that's the intake manifold. Together, they are manifold. Nice. Yes. Okay, so we took all that off. Then, where all the gaskets were attached to this, we pulled them off. It left a little res residue, so then I took my little special uh, scraper razor here and got all the yucky stickies off. That's special. Yeah, and Not then we took- special sandpaper? Yeah, wrapped it around and, a finger. Emery cloth, 80 grit. Yeah, 80 grit. And then we made that more smoother all through this whole area. And then and we went- then we went- <laughs> Kind of thing. And now we're watching paint dry. Check out this beautiful new manifold gasket. These were used during 1929 in January through May 1931. So it's perfect for my Roadster that was made in 1929 in February. Since the Model A engine block is kind of porous, I like to use a little bit of mega copper on the engine block side only. I don't put any of this on the manifold side, just the engine block side. do it where you can see on the camera easy, but I'm just going to have to, if 
by the door. I'll probably just edit that part out. <laughs> Pro tip, if you don't want your stuff to dry out, don't use the little plastic white caps that go over the end. Use these and just don't cut the end off. Then it'll never dry out. Okay. So the reason why it's important that you don't have any uh, manifold leaks is because on the intake side especially, you have vacuum. So you've got the carburetor, you've got air coming up in here into the intake manifold, there's a vacuum, like a suction on that. And that has to be a perfect seal between the manifold, which is connected to the carburetor, and the engine block. You don't want any leaks in there. It has to be able to hold negative pressure, kind of like the opposite of like when you blow up a balloon and then squeeze it. You don't want any air leaking out of that. Well, we don't want any air leaking in on this vacuum side. So that's why this seal is very, very important. And what about the copper against the cast iron? Well, the copper, so the way this gasket is made up, it's a sandwich. So the copper is the bread, if you will. So there's bread on the outsides, and then the inside is made up of an imitation asbestos. There's your meat and cheese right there. So what you want is the copper, that thin layer of copper, seals up against the cast iron block and the cast iron manifolds, and it kind of helps fill some of the voids in those. The imitation asbestos, the meat and cheese, if you will, helps kind of fill in a little bit of the voids, like if something's a little low or a little high or whatever, it kind of takes that up. So once you torque these down and you squish the insides, it kind of squeezes down, it'll hold the gland rings in place, and it also helps push the copper against the cast iron to fill all the little voids. That's how you get a good seal. Nice. Ta-da! I'm hungry for a sandwich now. Sandwich! You know what? This is the very first time I saw a torque wrench run really? work. Uh, can you tell everybody how in the world that works? Yes. So torque is measured in inch pounds or foot pounds. This measures in foot pounds. That's hmm. how many feet or no, that's how many pounds at one foot away from the rotating mass. Something like that. Anyway, hmm. the way this works is there's an adjustment. So you loosen this right here and you turn this to adjust it. So I started off at 20 foot-pounds, and then I adjusted it up to 25, then we went to 30, then we went to 35, and then I did a final torque at 40 foot-pounds. So the numbers are right there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. So you set it to the torque you want, you tighten this down, and that locks it in place, okay? Wow. Then, when you turn this, I've got an extension on it, and people are going to say, oh, you can't do it with an extension. Yes, you can. If you support it, you can. Okay. So then, if you listen real close for the click, when I reach the torque that it's set to, it clicks, and then you know to stop. Nice. Oh, well, I got an even better one. Wait, let me show you my old one. It's yeah? Better. Yeah, it's better. Is it your forearm? <laughs> Problem is, I need an adapter for this I don't have. Hmm. This is my old torque wrench that I really, really like. So this works the same way as the clicker, yeah. except you just watch the meter move. So as you torque it up, wow. the meter moves and tells you how many foot-pounds of torque are on it. Whoa, that's pretty neat. Yeah, old-fashioned. The old stuff is better.
right, Paul has got the manifold gaskets on. It's changed, it's running awesome. So far, so good. Just put a little gas in and we're gonna go to the gas station now. My first big trip in it, so I'm super excited. No, I'm scared. <laughs> to go 45 filled up with gas a little too much gas yeah kind of had to clean up a little bit of a mess tiny bit that's all yeah we realized um it didn't trigger the thing so i didn't know what we were full full and <laughs> so gonna put that in memory banks yeah. um had a little near miss didn't realize i didn't put it in first gear at the stop sign gonna cross the highway and uh you know had to had to figure things out but then traffic came and you know but you did the right thing. Yeah. You stopped, let traffic go, and of course they don't slow down for anybody. Mm -mm. And as soon as it was clear, then you regrouped and hit it. You did perfect. Yeah. And we're that here. That was fun. We had a good time. You're in one, one piece. One piece. Yeah. Roadies in one piece. So thanks for joining us. Look out for his video on changing the manifold gasket on coming the here. It's coming soon. And he'll show you all the logistics and all the technical stuff. Yeah. 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 He's a technical dude. Yeah. yeah. I'm the bare bone basics. Bare bones. <laughs> yeah, and behind the scenes. So I hope that you enjoyed that today. You guys take care. God bless, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.